Alright, guys, it's been a long time, I know, I know, but look what is here. Look at it. Bro, I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing. I've only been able to get onto it now, I've only been, had the opportunity to get onto it now, so this is my chance, and here it is. 707001 it's the first one the first model and i'm getting on it right now to haze ah. okay 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 it's time it's time to go on it it's time to go on it mr city beam the beam is here the city beam the 707s should we enter? Are you ready? Let's go. Tick to star or text British Transport Police on 61. Still got that new smell to it. Still got that new smell to it. Sorry, it just pulled off. This feels better than a 700. Like the acceleration is just like zoomed off. I feel like I'm on a plane. Okay, that's a bit of exaggeration, but 707. Despite what I've been hearing online about everyone saying the seats are not that comfortable, well, they're like iron board like seats, they are more comfortable than the 700s, the Tenzik ones. I don't know, the, maybe because it's just new, maybe because it is just a newer train, but the padding just seems softer. You know? Let's see? We'll shortly be arriving at London Bridge. Let's squish to Change it. Change here. People look so happy coming on, like everyone, has, people just have a smile on their face. This is what new trains do. So I'm going to be an advocate for the new trains on every single service, even though that's not environmentally friendly. Yeah, but it makes people happy, which is the most important thing in life, right? One argument that I have been hearing a lot for these trains is that they don't include toilet compared to the old class 465 and 466s. But as a 21st century child, what do I prefer more? A toilet or charging for your phone? That is an argument I'll leave to you guys, but I'm just saying, I think it's a pro to me. All that talk about not having a toilet being not that big of a deal. I need to go to the toilet. Like now. Fan of the grab poles as well, like the, the orange on them, like because it's to match with the the orange, like some 465s have the orange as well on them, which really does work. Um, but if we look on the outside of the tree, they have the yellowing section, which is not here. Oh, look, the yellow section there, or the orange, orange yellowy color. That's usually to indicate first class, but on these trains is to indicate the disability area, because as a metro service, there are no first class because do you know what? That is a very good question. I actually don't know what the reason is to why there are no first class in metros, but I'm just going to assume they just need more capacity on the trains, so they just remove the first class section. Someone give me a medal, please. Someone actually give me a medal.
So these new ones are due to run on their metro services out of London Cannon Street and London Charing Cross. But currently, as under I'm aware, they're currently just running on the metro service out of London Cannon Street. So that's towards Orpington, that's also towards Dartford, and that's also towards Hayes. So those routes currently, and the, also the London Cannon Street loop, where it goes by, it goes to around like to Sidcup and Slate Green, and it loops back around. That's where it's currently running at the moment. But from my understanding, in 2020, around this time next year, once they get all the fleet from South Western Railway, when the 701s do come, these will all be in service on all the metro services, even the ones out of London, Charing Cross. See, when that happens, great. Because what I'm excited for is for it to go fast from Ladywell straight to London Bridge. Go on 90 miles per hour. Beat the 465, beat the 465, beat the 465. Go on, outrace this sim. You're a beast, 707, outrace it. Yes, look at that, look at that. Bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> See, this is the future. Am I, see, am I gonna be favoritism and say I prefer this than the class 700s? I don't know, I don't know. Because look, with me, I am biased to a good Southeastern livery and a Southeastern train. That's where my heart is realistically, as you guys should know by now. But I have been with the 700s for the last, what, four years now? And they hold a really special place in my heart as well. Minus the seats, they are arguably one of the best units on the network due to their speed and because they're just a beast of a train anyways. But then these guys coming along with Southeastern, my favorite company. Yeah, for, for, for many reasons. Plus it's in the dark, look at the dark blue on this. It just, see, I don't lose my love for the 700s but the 707s you're you're really grabbing me in you're really pulling me in um i should be quick because the train's about to leave but you might be my favorite train my dear Goodbye class 707 and welcome to the South Eastern family. You are very welcome and I'm happy to accommodate you in this beautiful, beautiful family of South Eastern trains. This has been Network Nathan. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Now how did you get up there? Thank you.